Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to embed a dashboard in a web page. Dashboards are a great way to keep your important metrics top of mind and embedding them in a web page make it even easier to, to do that. And PostHog makes it super simple to share and embed dashboards and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first things first, we're going to need a dashboard to embed. So we're going to go to dashboards. We're going to click create new dashboard. We're going to name it embed dashboard. Uh, we don't need any of this stuff. We'll just create that and then we'll go to the dashboard. We'll add an insight. It'll be a simple page view total count. We will remove the internal filter and we'll make it a number. We'll save and add that, and then we will uh, add another insight. And this will be auto capture, total count, and then we'll do that as well. We'll make this one a number as well. And we'll save that and add it to our dashboard. Now to embed this dashboard, we're gonna click the share button up here. We're gonna click share dashboard publicly and then we're going to copy this code for embedding the dashboard and we can turn off post hog branding if we'd like. So once we've done that, we can go to our web page and add it in. So here we have the most basic React app of all times. It's just a header component right now and we can just add our iframe in here, simply put, and then when we go back, we can go to our React app, we can refresh, and we'll see that we have this dashboard here. This is running on a web page, so we've accomplished our mission of embedding a dashboard on a web page, but it doesn't look super good. We want to make sure that we don't have to scroll this dashboard, uh, that it automatically takes the height. So we can listen for the height and change the height of the dashboard so that it matches on the site and from post hoc. And I'll show you how to do that next. So to get the height from post hoc, we're gonna have to listen for events from post hoc that say what the dimensions of the iframe are or, or should be. So to do this, we're going to run window dot add event listener, and then this is gonna take message and that's going to be create a function and then this function is going to check if the data event is equal to post hog dimensions and then if so we're going to set the iframe height to the we get so we need a we need an ID so this is going to be post hog dashboard we'll add that ID to the iframe afterwards and then we'll say dot height and then this will equal e dot data dot height and then we'll just close this off here we need one more like this perfect and then we'll do ID equals post hog dashboard. We'll save that and we'll go back to our embedded dashboard and we should see that it's the right height. So back in our embedded dashboard, we see that we don't have the scroll bar anymore, that it's the right height and that we're getting the full dashboard on the page. So if you wanted to, you could change this how you like. You could make it smaller um, by wrapping it in a different div uh, or, or something like that. But yeah, we have a properly formatted embedded dashboard on a web page. So that's kind of what we wanted at the beginning and that's what we have now. So that's all for this tutorial on how to embed a dashboard on a web page. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or join our community at posthog.com slash slack. And if you're interested in learning more about posthog, check out posthog.com slash tutorials for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.